I think guys fought through just the weather change. So I think they did a pretty good job at that. Uh, the energy was where I wanted it to be, and you know, we made that help. Was it seemed a little shorter? Uh, was that by design? Just a little bit, a little short in numbers. A couple guys, a uh, couple guys just uh, a little more tight. We ran a lot on Saturday, so I didn't really want to kill them today. Got it. That was uh, the time. But I like that you noticed that. <laughs> we all did, yeah, right? <laughs> the shorter one. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to check on uh, Che, Brian Strother. Did he go on the transfer portal? Is he, is he leaving? Um, I believe so. Okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. Um, edge, you've already lost, obviously, a lot of edges. Where does that kind of leave the depth uh, right uh, now? I'm excited for the guys that we have. Busek, uh, uh, Devin Alpu, you know, guys that, that want to be here and want to play. Just for respect and physical. And follow them. Is, is, uh, I know that there was a guy from Johns Hopkins who's an edge, uh, Shoreman. Is he still coming? He should be coming in. Something. Okay. All right. Got it. Looked like uh, Kanye Clark got a scholarship. Uh, just tell me a little bit about the process and why he was uh, deserving. Um, the way he played all last season as a freshman, the way he's come into camp, the way he worked all during winter. You know, he has a hard hat. I mean, a, yeah, a hard hat mentality. You know, he's a blue collar guy. Mm -hmm. I just appreciate how he went about things, and I just wanted to reward him. Cool. What did you see from all people that? Lead you to believe you can be an edge because he played a lot of it seemed like he played a lot of inside last year. Um, I just think he was put in that position, you know, coming from he's a big guy, so I, I'm confident to see. But that's what spring is, you know, to see what guys can do. And then, you know, in about six days, <laughs> we'll start figuring the rest of it out. Any thought of finding some other guys maybe for edge? Most like, definitely. That's that's mo that's most definitely a portal position, you know. But we still got to develop the guys that we have, and I'm confident in seeing what we can do. This, this Watching year. Femi in the one on ones, and he looked pretty good coming around that edge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure Femi got one with his head in the ground. It's quite yeah. But like you said, you know, he's a multi multi facet kid that can do multiple things and help our defense. Are there any other positions that you guys are going to be prioritizing in the portal? There's a few in there. We'll get into that once it starts. But yeah, there's a few that I would like to address. I want to ask about Chase Griffin and NIL. Um, he's obviously become kind of like the model for it, right, nationwide. Did you did you catch any of his testimony before Congress? And, and, what, and what's it like to have somebody on your team testify before Congress in, in that important <laughs> role? I mean, he's been that type of player since he's been here. You know, just uh, somebody that you can just count on, rely on, on and off the field. Um, I talked to him a lot about NIL, what direction it's going in. Should do just here at the school, how to get things started, how to just kickstart more things. Let's, you know, so I'm just glad that we have um, Chase Griffin on our team. So. What, what was his advice? Did he give you anything that was, that was helpful? Um, just a lot of things like who we should reach out to, what company to talk to, just stuff like that. So, you know, just um, things that he's already, you know, tried that didn't work. We should just do that. And just be able to have somebody that's that knowledgeable. He's also done this platform called the Athletes Bureau. It's like a business newsletter for college athletes. He's got his kind of hands in so many things. How impressive is that that he's just doing it all, right? It, that's just something, like I said, that's just something he's been doing since he's been here. It's not like you just pick that up and then he's always been a dream. Uh, focus on multiple things at one time you know, and excel at all. A lot of kids at this age, you know, they can only get their hands on one thing to be able to focus, but he's able to grow in a lot of directions and, and, not, uh, and not be spoken to people. little update and some guys. J. Mike was sitting out today a little and he's okay. He's yeah, he's just little. running hot from Tyler. Yeah, so we were just uh, taking, taking precaution. When do you expect Tahoe to maybe actually get in the um, He's getting closer. I'm thinking maybe, I don't really want to give a timeline so that you guys can get on me, but <laughs> thinking, we would. Yeah, I think hopefully soon coming up but sooner than later he's looking good though yeah he's on the side exactly. yeah. but we just want to make sure that his we're running a lot of you mm -hmm. know and the guys that were that were able to do all of winter are still running hot a little bit too so i wanted to make sure that he's physically ready to come out to practice instead of having to set back so it's just conditioning running hot is that 
a difference between, it seems like your practices are a, a lot more team periods. Mm -hmm. Is that a result of that, that through more team periods or more drills? We're actually doing the exact same amount of team periods. It's just, um, they're finishing 40 yards after each play. So that's the, the, mm -hmm. the different component of that, you know? So it's just, a, it's a little bit more running. I mean, they train for it. On the cover, we just were short a little bit of receiver, so I just didn't want to overwork. The uh, edge rusher from Miami, uh, Collins, do you expect him back anytime in the spring? Um, I'm not sure in spring, but I'm pretty sure he'll be back in the fall. You had the Elon uh, long snapper who tweeted out that somewhere in between the coaching change, there was a call made to him that, you know, I guess his um, scholarship or whatever the case was, wasn't going to stand. Um, could you just tell us a little bit about that? Maybe what you know, or we're just going in a different direction. Um, as a head coach, I have the right to go in a different direction in certain situations. Okay. Was he the only one who committed that? Uh, that's that's the case with as, as far as like the transfer guys who yeah. committed under Coach Kelly. As of right now. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.